He lived to be 95, but during his 27 years in captivity, it was assumed that Nelson Mandela would die in prison. Instead, he went on to transform a nation and became an iconic figure to oppressed people around the world. Nelson Mandela, at his death, will be seen as perhaps the most important positive figure of the last century. In 1960, his armed wing of the African National Congress was considered a terrorist organization, and he, a socialist firebrand, bent on black domination. Then he was identified as a terrorist, in prison as a terrorist, etc. He was arrested in 1963 for threatening to overthrow the apartheid government. And in the 1980s, pressure mounted on the South African government as anti-apartheid demonstrations spread here in New Jersey and across the country with calls for corporations to divest from South Africa and for the U.S. government to impose sanctions. When this country uh, the, the, the passed the, the uh, sanctions against uh, South Africa, Ronald Reagan vetoed it. And members of Congress, both Republicans and Democrats, came together and overrode uh, the, the veto. In 1990, with political pressure mounting, Mandela walked out of prison and into history. His release led to the downfall of the apartheid system, and within a few years, he was president. He served one term as president and stepped down voluntarily. I think Mandela knew by the time he left Robben Island that he was destined to be a legend a living legend and a legend beyond his life. And that figured into his extraordinary decision to run against the grain of history uh, and do one term that would have a symbolic and metaphoric meaning. Tributes came from across the state, from Congressman Albio Ceres to Senators Cory Booker and Bob Menendez, and included the White House, where South Africa's first black president was honored by America's first black president. And today he's gone home. We've lost one of the most influential, courageous, and profoundly good human beings that any of us will share time with on this earth. It's easy to be cynical in an era when heroes are so disposable, but Nelson Mandela was the genuine article. And amid the celebrations of his life today, there is a sense that it will be a long time before we see his likes again. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.